Good afternoon little hoes. My name is Kristen and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is what I'm kind of excited about. It's going to be replanting a whole bunch of things that desperately need it. And as you guys know, <clears throat> if you watched my last video, I've kind of been in a funk with plants. So I've told myself that I don't really want to buy anything uh, if I can help it for a while, just so that I can try and take care of the plants that I do have. A lot of them have been slightly struggling, and I'm sure it's partly my fault because there were a couple weeks there that I probably didn't water very well or maintain them or nip any problems in the bud as they arose. But I'm going to try and remedy that. I'm going to repot some things that need it, like I said, and today, and I might not show that, but there are a few things that really need some fertilizer, um, some systemic bug control, so I will also be trying to do that. So I thought you guys could join me in that today and maybe have a little chat. So yeah, let's get started. Oh, and my supplies are right down here, so if you see me going off camera slightly, it's because my soil is on a stool next to me, as well as the ever-important Flaming Hot Cheetos Lemon. And that's my favorite type. Also, they're slightly stale, but I think it's like some sort of law. You cannot let these go to waste. I abide by the law. Alrighty, so... I don't know who I want to do first. This, I guess I'm gonna do this guy first. It's kind of fairly close. So this is, uh, tiny T-Rex arms. This is my Medinella Grigori Hembali. And also, before I start, I rigged up my new lighting system and I kind of figured it out. Freddy's pooping, sorry, that's that noise. But trying to figure it out, hopefully it, the camera portion doesn't fall off of the tripod, it's not super secure on there. Also, that lighting is very bright, and as I said in another video, the glare is really apocalyptic off of my glasses. So I did some redneck finagling and put a bag over that light to try and diffuse it more. I don't know if it's going to work or not, so if you see a weird ring around a bag in my glasses, that's what's going on. But this right here is my Medanilla Grigori Hembali, and I got this from the People's Plants <coughs> mm -hmm. uh, in the summer, and it hasn't been doing super great recently, and I think it's just the soil that they used is kind of crap. And I don't really see any pests. I do see those little like cystoliths I talked about in a different video. Hold on, let me, ah! Let me grab my trash. Fresh trash, damn. So, it does have those cystoliths going on and I don't really think it likes whatever soil this is in. So I thought I would pot it up into this and I don't know if this pot is cursed or not but it has seen two plants die in it. I washed it out pretty thoroughly. I'm hoping there's nothing nasty going on in that pot or cursed. I don't know. Ah yes. Also as I slightly suspected I'm the root system is not super big. It is still kind of in a plug form. I'm gonna check to make sure I've been in focus for a minute. One second. Alrighty guys, so I checked and the video is, it's kind of okay quality, but the audio is crap, so I apologize, I didn't realize that there was that much echo in here. Anyway, back to the Medanilla repotting. And 
I have a little tiny something something to plug the hole. I'm gonna move my Cheetos. But I also thought I could talk a little bit about myself and kind of oh, why kind of get to know you guys too in the process. As you know, my name is Kristen. I am 30 years old, which seems like just yesterday I was 20, but whatever. I'm sure it's just gonna get faster and faster the older I get. Um, I have been into plants since my early teens. And I got, I think my mom and dad have always slightly been into gardening, um, especially vegetable gardening when I was a kid. I remember, I think one of my earliest memories of plants in general was like the row of marigolds they planted in their backyard next to the vegetables. And for that reason, I love the smell of marigolds. It's one of my earliest memories. I got seriously into gardening and plants, like I said, when I was an early teenager, because the neighbor next to my parents, she was really, she had start, started to get into it and buying plants and such. And I being the presumptuous child that I was, decided that, I don't know if I really like was a one-upper or something, but I was just like, well, I want to learn too, and I want to know the most, which was a weird kid, yeah. So, next one, side note, is the hairy stemmed Ripsalis, which Aretha Ripsalis pilocarpa is the name. I guess it's not a true Ripsalis anymore. But... At that point, I started learning as much as I could about plants. Uh, I would read books on plants, and I remember my first plant encyclopedia, which was primarily outdoor plants with a focus on perennials. And so I learned as much as I could about the plants in those books what was hardy in our region, which were like zone five, six-ish, depending. I live in the eastern Washington state portion of this state. I don't know why I said that so weird. Sorry, the cuttings are kind of flopping all over in here. Um, but yeah, and then I started to go online and read more beyond what was in those books. And that really opened up a whole new world for me. Uh, I joined some garden forums and researched along with, learned from other gardeners and other plant people. And I have to say that all the book learning in the world doesn't really prepare you for plants because plants are one of those things that they're so individualistic and they respond so differently in different situations and what one person may experience it can be totally different in another region but I continued to learn and I really got into the hobby of outdoor gardening my parents very generously let me take over the backyard and eventually front yard for growing things and they enjoyed it quite a bit themselves, I think. Um, I was, I think I've always been a little bit more into collection versus composition. So I have always been of the want one of everything type of mentality, even if they're not that different. I like to compare them and take notes on plants and what makes them different and things of that nature. 
and sharing with people and learning from people as well. One of my favorite things is just talking to other plant fanatics and sharing information. It's probably one of my greatest joys. So, water here for myself. So, probably, I can't remember exactly if I was like 21 or 2, I got a job at a local nursery and part of that was due to someone else in the neighborhood sort of, you know, promoting me to this place that they previously worked. And part of it, I think, was my knowledge on plants that do well in my region and experience with plants and talking to people about plants. And I got hired at this awesome nursery. That was kind of my first taste of retail nursery environment. It was a nursery that also was sort of the side branch to a landscape facility. And now I'm going to be moving on to Ripsalis Trigona, which poor buddy, he's been struggling. At first my job was just pretty simple, um, talking to customers, selling them plants, maintaining plants watering them, taking care, helping to take care of the nursery along with my coworkers. That was pretty awesome. I also did plant deliveries with another coworker and plant installations as far as like annuals were concerned. That was also a lot of fun. I helped out in the greenhouse. The lady that operated that, she grew a lot of things from plugs. So I got to experience that too. I learned a lot there. Probably the place that I, I spent almost five years there that I learned the most about nursery retail operation. You know, I'm still not super familiar on, you know, business running, certain things of that nature, but I did learn a lot there. I also grew my knowledge in the way of uh, shrubs and especially trees. Uh, I did not know a whole lot about trees going into it, and I mean, I still don't know a ton, but my knowledge certainly has grown in the uh, past few years and especially working there where we got in a whole bunch of very large sized trees that were uh, landscape quality, landscape grade. Let's see, who do I want to do next? I think I'll get some of the small stuff out of the way first. So this is my Anthurium vicii, the king. He has been drying out quite a bit recently, so I think he Desperately, desperately needs to be repotted. I'm gonna get a little knife because it's kind of a tight fit in there. One second. You know, I made quite a few friends when I was there, including my best friend Dawn, who I've known forever, who's been with me through so much. After a few years working there, um, I was promoted to assistant manager, which I was so excited about. My duties were fairly similar to what I had been doing before, but I also took on a little bit more role in helping to order for the, the landscape portion um, of the facility and learning a little bit more about purchasing plants, ordering, things of that nature, and which was really fun. I think that's one of the things that I enjoy most is getting to order plants, especially ones that I know myself. For, for various reasons, 
the owner eventually fired the manager that I was currently working under. There were problems with him, but, you know, I was ultimately kind of sad to see him go because he did have a pretty good grasp of things there, which then threw me into the situation of do I want to run a nursery and purchase for the landscape because for some reason they thought that those two were inseparable which in my opinion it was definitely a two-person job so I turned down the offer to be manager for that reason I continued to sort of fill that management role cats are playing upstairs that was that thud I continued to fill that role until we got in another manager who is one of my very dearest friends Erin and she didn't work out as manager, but it has been an absolute pleasure knowing her all these years and working with her and hanging out with her. She is a plant nerd. She is an awesome person. Um, we then went through two other managers, and which was a very stressful few years. I was responsible for trying to train these managers, teach them how to be purchaser as well as the operations of our particular nursery. Again, for various reasons, it didn't work out and I was sort of left between all of these managers to run and it was a lot of stress. And there was also a person there, for whatever reason, was held in high esteem by the owner and who made it quite miserable for me. I would even say verging on like harassment at some points and it, it really wasn't dealt with. I could have seen myself staying at that place for many, many more years, but I was just waking up crying and stressed out at the pretty much harassment I was facing from this person and the lack of sympathy from my superiors on this. Not to mention the stress of having to continuously be put in the position of manager while only receiving assistant manager pay, uh, as well as having to uh, try and run a nursery, albeit with the help of my co-workers, and purchase for the landscape facility, which dealt with hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of plants um, in any given project. So it was a lot of stress. I eventually decided that I couldn't do it anymore as much as I it loved that place and devoted so much time and energy and my soul into it, I couldn't do it anymore. The one great thing about that is that I gained experience and I will be forever grateful for that place for giving me so much knowledge and insight. Insight about myself and how strong I am and capable I am, even though I don't always feel it. I also met some of my dearest lifelong friends and through a former co-worker I met my boyfriend who I am still with Casey so things did work out and after that so we were done with the Amphitherium after that I who next So this is my Calathea. Is it Rufa Barba or something like that? I can't remember, but I started out with this kind of small guy. And we got in at my work these clear glass planters with a drainage hole at the bottom. 
I don't know I'm holding this up. I doubt you can see that, but uh, I thought this was kind of cool. I don't know how great they're going to do long term, if it's just going to kind of fry the roots having it exposed, but I thought I'd give it a try. And this Calafia has had some issues. It has had a few mealybugs for some weird reason. So I've given it some amethrocloprid granules, which is a systemic, and I think it kind of slightly damaged the leaves. Either that or I did it by soapy watering off the foliage. So I'll be putting it in here. But after I left that job and I kind of just up and quit, I was kind of at my wit's end there, I got a job that really filled out that pot pretty well um, with another person I consider a very good friend and mentor, Mary. She owns a small business which uh, deals with professional gardening, so it's not quite landscaping. It's more of like garden design, I would say. I... There. Garden design and taking care of people's existing gardens. I worked there for probably one season, and again, very seasonal work, as was my first job. I worked there probably one, one and a half seasons. I got to go around and take care of people's gardens with my coworkers. It was very laid back and it was very amazing change of pace from retail environment. I enjoyed the heck out of it and I love Mary to death. She's one of the best people, most kind-hearted people you will ever meet. But I did discover that the seasonal aspect of it kind of killed me. I just, you know, really hated the whole unemployment hoops I had to jump through that kind of always associated with seasonal work. And I wanted to move in with my boyfriend. Um, we're at his brother's place. In order to do that, I kind of wanted more stable work. And my best friend on had just recently started work with the place that we're currently at, <coughs> which has a number of different departments, um, focusing on various hobbies, fish, pets, garden supplies, and we were hired, she was hired for the nursery, and she got me a job there as well, which I am very happy to be working with my best friend again. I have been there, this next spring will be my third year. You know, it has its ups and downs, and it's a very different retail environment from my first nursery job. We're done with this guy. Um, clientele are definitely very, very different. The atmosphere is very different. It's not as laid back as my first job, for sure. I think people in my first job would come in very leisurely to buy things and to talk and to be sold on items and told perhaps what would work best for them. It's not quite as leisurely at my work, especially in the spring, it's very chaotic. And it's kind of, you know, as much as I probably don't like the chaotic nature of it quite as much, it does kind of give you sort of a, a look into all different aspects of retail nursery work. But uh, currently I do help order some things especially through, uh, especially for like the greenhouse and house plants. And this right here, by the way, 
is my alocasia poly. And again, I don't know why, but it has been getting mealybugs recently. So I'm thinking it might be slightly stressed out and need to be repotted. This particular planter does not have drainage holes. So I do feel that if you're working with a pot that doesn't have drainage holes, it's not a, a deal breaker per se, but you have to watch what you put in it. And since this plant loves its water, it does all right here. Okay. I'm gonna cut around the sides a bit. But you do have to repot, I think, a little bit more frequently with the no drainage holes just to help get out any nasty soil that might be accumulating and at the bottom. Oh. Okay, I might have to go off screen here, let's see. out this pot really quick um, kind of give it a little bit of a scrub and then I will see if this plant needs to be rinsed off maybe soapy water off any uh, other bugs I see so one sec future holds for me. Um, I do like where I'm at and I do enjoy working with all of my co-workers or majority of you. Fuckers I don't, you probably know who you are. But I enjoy it. I do know from my previous retail job that you can't, if you're unhappy somewhere, you can't stay some place that you are not happy just for coworkers, just for your friends, as much as you would like it. And as much as it probably, you know, makes it easier, um, you know, if it's time to move on to a different job, there's no shame in that. And there's no shame in growing as a person. Priorities change. So do I want to stay there long term? It's really comfortable where I'm at and it's not a difficult job per se. I don't really know. I do love the people I work with and that does make it a fun place to work most of the time. Despite probably, you know, pretty normal problems and oftentimes the Customers are difficult, I will say. I Not all of them. I've made some really good friends, customer friends, that are awesome. Some regulars that I really enjoy talking to and seeing come in. But as anyone who has worked retail knows, like whoever works in retail deserves a medal because it's not easy, especially for, you know, your mental state in some, some days. It can be very depreciating as a person working in, in retail. Oh, it's raining. I've always thought that I might want to open my own nursery someday. Um, there's just so much that I don't know and don't know that I need to know before I even begin that. So it's a big step and it's something lately I've been in retail that's just so, it's more difficult than my previous retail job, like I said. So I'm not sure if I want to be in retail anymore. Um, 
or see myself doing that for the future, but it could be very different, you know? I could set up a nursery that's very much my own, my own personality, my own philosophy on uh, business running, and it could be awesome, and I, I could see myself being happy doing that. At the same time, it's very easy to get burnt out. So I don't know if I want to start a full-fledged nursery or just sort of dip my toes into perhaps occasionally selling plants out of my future greenhouse or perhaps like Etsy. I do not know. But that is a little bit about myself. Um, also, I don't know about you guys, but there's been like a giant um, surge of popularity in houseplants and I can understand why and it's kind of interesting switching from a very outdoorsy aspect perennials and trees and shrubs to um, a place that half focuses on outdoors and for another half of the year houseplants are pretty big because in my current living situation, I'm not really able to outdoor garden very much. Uh, partially because the landscape's pretty much all filled up. So, I do have a veggie garden in the summer, but for the most part, I'm limited to growing indoor plants. So, I've, my focus has definitely changed from outdoor gardening to indoor gardening. Um, this right here is a kind of sad narrow philodendron that I got a while back and I didn't realize he was right over a heat vent in my house in our house uh, and it got kind of dried out and then I panicked and watered it hard and perhaps a little too hard because I think this soil is a little too oversaturated right now so it is pretty wilty kind of stressed out so I am going to repot it and see if I can revitalize it But I'd like to hear from you guys on how you got started on plant exploration. Did you start out outdoorsy gardening or has it always been sort of a indoor plant love for you? This pot is remarkably difficult to get soil out of just because it's so ribbed. In hindsight, I probably could have put this soil in a bucket and then put it in the compost bin, but I didn't really think of that. So I'm gonna... It's a weird smelling plant. And so, I'd also like to say, like, the reason I started this YouTube was because for some portions of the year, I'm not always working in the nursery side of my current job. And I definitely, I definitely miss that. And I miss being able to use my knowledge. That's something that, you know makes me feel good about myself is being able to share what I know with other people and being able to help them and perhaps make some friends and chat about plants. So that's kind of the reason I started this YouTube channel was just to have a creative outlet and something that would allow me to still utilize my knowledge and make plant friends even when I wasn't in that particular department of my work. So yes, this guy was very wet and I think it probably stressed out between being very dry and then rather wet. I 
This is the weirdest pot. I love this pot. It's really cool, but it has ribs on it, which make it very difficult to not only get soil out of, but to put soil in. I hope I never have to... Well, I'm sure I will eventually have to repot this guy if he recovers, which cross your fingers he does. But... My god, it's difficult. That and tapered pots. Those can be a pain in the ass. I also have some more planty things I probably need to take care of. I was contemplating repotting my um, Sissus Discolor, my Rex Begonia vine, today, but I couldn't really find any pots at work that I liked and that weren't ginormous. I also want to get a plastic pot, not a um, ceramic or terracotta one, because I think the terracotta would dry out way too much for the Begonia vine, and the ceramic would be way too heavy. So I think plastic might be my best bet. That thing requires so much water, it's incredible. And because it's root bound, I pretty much have, and it's, I think it's probably in about a six inch pot, it's kind of an odd tapered hanging pot. I probably have to give it a cup of water a day um, and or soak it every couple days. But plants have been struggling around my house recently, and I think it's, you know, this lack of sunlight that kind of obvious it's fall winter, but things have been struggling, um, trying to be positive about it and remedy, remedy that by moving a whole bunch of things into the sunroom, just because it's on the south side of the house and receives quite a bit of sunlight throughout the day, even during the winter. Um, so I've been moving things in there. I am thinking I want to get a grow light soon. Maybe next paycheck I'll uh, invest in one. There's some probably some good ones on Amazon. Also, I'm kind of battling between like the heat vents drying things out. Okay, I'm back. Didn't get murdered. But yeah, a few things have been struggling. Uh, the heat vents of winter do not help things at all. They dry things out incredibly. And then I try and be more vigilant and water more frequently, and sometimes it just suddenly goes from bone dry needing it right now to over water really fast. And I, it's trying to manage that that's kind of killing me right now. But I am attempting it still, and everything's a learning experience, and I can always buy something again, as much as I hate that, <laughs> and as much as I hate admitting killing things, you know, you always get a second chance. But that is kind of that, I'm sure this was a rambling mess, but I enjoyed it, I had fun today, and I feel a lot of... Um, success in getting a lot of things taken care of today plant-wise that needed it and I thank you guys for tuning in I'd like to hear what are you guys doing this weekend anything plant related any plant projects you need to accomplish um, also like I said earlier how did you guys start gardening and why and house plants versus outdoor plants do you, are you interested in both? Is it just one or the other? 
I would love to know. So thank you so much for tuning in and I will talk to you later. Bye!